Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a tag video and I am tagged by Prue LaRue, my good friend here on YouTube and this is a tag called I am always so prepared, my makeup addiction tag and this was created by Tracy Lee Beauty. I will leave both her and Prue up here and down in the description and this is 14 questions or maybe 15 and yeah, I think we just get started. I will also leave the question down in the description, of course. Question number one. How long have you been addicted to makeup? And I think it started for real. Maybe four years ago. I started my channel five years ago and almost five years ago. But in the beginning I was not like this addicted to makeup. I think that started maybe four years ago. So I think I would say four years. <sighs> four years ago. Question number two. What is the makeup item you are most addicted to buying? And that is eyeshadow palettes. Hands down. I love to buy new eyeshadow palettes and I love to try them. So eyeshadow palettes. Okay, and question number three, how many of your favorite items do you have? And I have around 50 palettes. I can count them and write it here, but I think it's around like 55 maybe. Now it's maybe over 60 and I'm completely off, but I think it's around 55 palettes. So it's much, but it's not like crazy, crazy much. I try to myself that at least. Question number four, do you buy makeup just to buy it? And this is a little bit, this has two answers. If this, if I would have done this tag seven months ago, the answer would be yes. And now I am on, on a low buy, so I buy three items per month. So I can't just buy makeup to buy makeup. So no, I don't do that anymore because I am not able to do it within my low buy. So no, I do not. Question number five. Do you look at an item and have the need, the compulsion that you need just one more to complete your collection? And yes, before this year it was like that. I sounded like a recovered drug addict. Um, yes. Before this year it was absolutely like that. If like a blush tribe came out with a new palette, I bought it. If Linda Hallberg came out with something new, I bought it directly because I wanted everything. Now Linda Hallberg has released new Fantastics. I haven't bought any of them yet. If this would have been seven months ago, I would have bought them as soon as they launched. So no, I don't do that. I am not a completion completionist. I don't care about a full collection of anything anymore and that feels great. Question number six. Do you have more than 10 mascaras? How many are open? Four backups and one that is open. So I have five mascaras and only one is open. Question number seven. Do you ever throw any makeup away? And if I hate something I throw it away or if it smells funky or look a little bit odd, it goes in the trash. So yes, I do throw away makeup if it's old or something that I don't like. Question number eight. What is your oldest makeup item? And I am pretty sure that this is my Na Urban Decay Naked 2 palette and that is six years in August. We celebrate six years together. So yeah six years and it's my Naked 2 by Urban Decay. Question number nine. How often do you shop for makeup? And now it is not that often anymore. Have you seen the lipstick on my teeth all the time? I maybe buy once or two times a month. It depends on uh, where I buy it from. Maybe I buy more than one thing and at the same time, but once or twice a month. Question number 10. Do you buy any products just for the packaging? And no, I do not and I have never done that. Question number 11. When a new item is released that you want, do you set an alarm? And yes, I do. And that's only because most of the things that I really, really want, like the Whale Song palette from Menagerie Cosmetics, 
we are not living in the same time zone. So for me to keep track on when it's releasing in my time zone, I had to set an alarm. Because it's like, I think it's 8 hours difference or something like that. And then I set an alarm. So yes, and that's only because different time zone. Question number 12. Do you have the Ulta or Sephora apps on your phone? And I don't think Sweden has a Sephora app and we don't have Ulta. So no. I don't have the Kix app that is the biggest beauty store in Sweden. I don't have their app but mostly because I heard that it's shit. Question number 13. Do you have so much makeup that you forgot what you have then you purchased item again? And no. I have never done that. I have not bought duplicate of anything. Not, not by purpose. Duplicates on a lipstick and also some pens from Colourpop. But that's not... I did know that I was going to get duplicates because the lipstick was a little gift and the pens from Colourpop, I bought a bundle and I had two of the colors that was, three of the colors that was in the bundle. And question number 14, does your makeup make you happy? And yes, and now we maybe can take a little story time. Um, I felt last year that I was overwhelmed by my makeup collection and that was one of the reasons that I decided to go on a year-long low buy. So then I was a little bit stressed about my makeup collection and just to see all my makeup and like I'm never going to get through this makeup, I'm never going to be able to try everything so that stressed me out a lot. But now more than six months into my low buy, I feel happy again. I feel inspired when I sit down with my at my makeup table and going to do a makeup. So now I don't feel stressed. Now I feel happy about my makeup. And I think it should be like that. You should be happy about your makeup. Because makeup is supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be anything that you feel you need to do. Makeup should be fun, it is a fun thing, you can be creative, you can do whatever you want, so makeup should be fun and I, my makeup makes me happy. And the last question, question number 15, that is not like a question, is tag everybody, so I tag everybody that sees this. If you have a channel, do a video on it, if you don't have a channel, answer some of or all of the questions down below in the comments and we can chat about it, so yeah. That was this tag and if you don't have checked out Tracy or Prue, don't forget to do that. I will leave them both down in the description as I said and also up here. And yeah, thank you for watching and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!